one of the chants we repeat regularly, talks about having respect for concentration. It means two things. One, having respect for your own concentration, and the other is having respect for other people's concentration. Respect for your own is that you're sitting here and you could be thinking about all kinds of things. Part of the mind will say, here, I've got a little piece of time where I have no other responsibilities. I can think about X. You have to remind yourself that thinking about X is what you've been doing all along. Learning how to think about one thing and stay right in the present moment, that's a different skill. And if you don't take advantage of it now, the opportunity to have the mind settle down, just be with the breath, have a sense of well-being, adjust the breath so it's nice, comfortable coming in, comfortable going out. If you don't do this now, when are you going to do it? Here you've got this time. There's also part of the mind that says sitting here being very quiet and being focused just on being present to one thing is kind of dumb, where you could have all kinds of intelligent and clever thoughts. And again, you have to remind yourself that intelligent and clever thoughts are all over the world. People who make their minds still are very hard to find. And the stillness that comes, the understanding of the mind that comes as you get the mind to, st to become still, is something you can't gain in any other way. You can think your way through all the texts and think your way through all kinds of things. But there are a lot of things that can't be learned simply by thinking. You've got to do. In this case, you've got to do the actions of getting the mind to be with the breath and figure out how to keep it here with a sense of well-being. You can't learn that any other way. And once the mind is still, then it's in a position where it can see things a lot more clearly. So have a respect for that. As for other people's concentration, I mean, it's bad enough you're sitting here talking to yourself all the time. And when it starts spilling out into, the, into speech outside, then it becomes a disturbance to the others around you. Everybody's here to be quiet. Everybody's here to train their mind. We're not here to listen to each other's theories about things. We're here to get in touch with our own minds and be as little interference as possible for others. So we speak when it's necessary and when it's in line with the duties that we have around the monastery. And John Fung's rule always was, once you realize that something is good and true and beneficial, and the next question, is this the right time and place? And then and he would add, is it really necessary? There's so much unnecessary noise going around. That by contributing a little quiet to the world, you're actually making a contribution. So break into speech only when it's really necessary. And then when your thoughts are corralled in your own mind, okay, that's when you can take them on directly. Because the damage they do when they go out is sometimes it's hard to see, but the damage they can do in your own mind, if you actually look at them directly, is something that becomes a lot clearer to see. So focus inside where the real problem is what the mind is saying to itself, and figuring out how to get the mind to settle down so you can gain this skill of having concentration. Once the concentration becomes settled, then you realize it really is worthy of respect. So give it a chance. <laughs>